video is for um, minors who have gotten any sort of traffic ticket and have to go to court for it. This is, I'm, this is, yes. <laughs> That's what I had to do. Um, it sounds kind of scary at first. Oh my god, I have to go to court. But it's really, it's nothing. Uh, so yeah, here we go. The first thing I would say is you want to dress nicely. You don't want to dress, what am I wearing? I'm wearing just a t-shirt right now. You don't want to do that. That's what I did. Wear a suit and a tie if you can. Because, <laughs> uh, they're definitely judging your looks. That's how serious it is. The other thing I want to say is what is actually happens when you go in there. So when you actually walk in the courtroom, well, at least the courtroom that I was at, you are allowed to have bags, purses, or phones. So you have to leave all that in the car. If you have it, then they're going to make you take it to the car. So there's no point in even bringing it. Um, I think all I had was my wallet, my keys, and my ticket. I didn't need my ticket, but I just brought it anyway, so you should do. So when you first walk in, you go through a metal detector, and uh, yeah, and then you go in the courtroom and sit down, sit down, and uh, then you have to wait for the judge, and then the judge walks in, and then you all stand up or something, um, and then she explains kind of what, or he or she explains what's going on. When you get called, you walk up to the thing, open the gate close the gate behind you and stand at the podium and then you swear in that you're not gonna lie um, and, and so basically when you're up there the judge will go so John you did this hmm do you have a death wish <laughs> I'm just kidding but uh, yeah she'll be like uh, so you did this and you'll be like yeah and then she'll be like how do you plead um, and so you can either plead guilty or innocent um, if you plead innocent, you have to go back to court whenever the officer that gave you the ticket is available, and then you have to battle it out with him. Which, don't lie, honestly. Like, if you were speeding, then just say you were speeding. Um, if you plead guilty, you get the points on your driver's license. And if you get so many points, I think you have to either go to traffic school or you get your driver's license revoked or suspended one of those I don't know just pay attention to what she says but in my case uh, the judge that we had offered something what was it called retirement she offered a retirement so what that is is she gives you a uh, what is it like standards to meet I guess I don't know how to say it if you meet that then you don't you don't get the points on your record and then it all just kind of goes away. So the standards, I don't know, I don't know how to, a better way to say it, um, requirements, I don't know, were that I, I go 90 days with um, good and lawful behavior and I pay, uh, I think it was like $20 in court costs and then I was all good. So I'm currently working on my 90 days of good and lawful behavior. I haven't messed up yet. I paid my court costs. Um, I didn't have to pay for my ticket, which was $145. I just paid the, like, $20 in court costs, and that was it. So I guess that was part of the retirement. I don't know how it works if you plead guilty or innocent or whatever. But, um, yeah, so I don't know if they give retirements to all minors in court, but that was just one of my options. Um, yeah, so if retirement's not an option, then I would definitely say plead guilty. Don't plead innocent. Don't plead innocent if you're not innocent. And if you're there, then you're not innocent, okay? You, you're not gonna get away with saying, oh no, I wasn't speeding, or oh no, I was wearing a seatbelt. Like, no, they're not gonna buy it. You're just wasting your time. So just uh, plead guilty, get your points, pay your bill, get out of there. It's really not that big of a deal. You're not going to jail, you're not, they're just, it's, yeah, it's just to scare you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so after you plead with that, you sign some papers, and move on because there's a room full of people that gotta get their sentencing as well. Um, also, don't forget your parent. So key keynotes, bring your parent and dress nice. Uh, don't bring any bags or phones or anything. It's just you're just gonna have to walk right back outside and put it in the in your car. Yeah, hopefully that was informational. Tried to keep this video short, sweet and to the point. Um, yeah, so yeah, so I will see you in the next video. Peace.